This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Why do I sing this? Hello, everybody. Big red letters, Alex. And the white letters, the ramble. That's what it is and goes until midnight tonight. From New York City, New York. New York, New York. The city so nice they named it twice. Oh well, hello. How are you? How you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm doing. I'm doing okay. Uh, I suppose. Uh, and it's uh, it's uh, Thursday, and either on Wednesday or Thursday, depending on his availability. Uh, uh, we uh, we uh, go and we talk to our old friend. Now, first of all, I have to bring him in here. So let me first admit him. All right, and then we um, uh, go to uh, our uh, uh, Zoom panel, and there he is. He's, he's still trying to connect to his audio, but we'll wait. Okay, you, are you okay now? Yeah, I'm good to go. Oh, I thought you were going to do a Jeff on me there. Well, uh, hey, I taught Jeff everything he knows. I love Jeff. I absolutely adore Jeff, so, you know, I, you know, the fact that, he always has trouble kind of getting on, is almost well, lovable. You yeah. know, he's he's had some issues in his life that have uh, you know, caused him to have you know some difficulty with certain uh, certain things, and uh, the computer may be one of them. Well, he's overcome them pretty well. You know, I mean. It, oh yeah, it, it, I mean he he was not only was was he a brilliant man, mm -hmm. he still is a brilliant man. Yeah, I mean compared to other people I know have had strokes, he's had, he's done done pretty well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah much better than you. Yeah, that stroke <laughs> I had was terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so how how you do it? I you know I I don't hear the first couple of seconds of you getting on after the promos because I don't want to do what jeff does <laughs> so i turn off the uh yeah the yeah well uh, no, nothing nothing to say nothing much you know uh, all right i just another another day of wondering why i keep doing this you know well by the way know, by the way if you hear stuff in the background now folks it's getting to be summer or spring and yeah. i need air conditioning in here because all this equipment is so hot and during the winter it keeps me warm Yes. Do, well, yeah. in the summer it gets hotter. I I just I brought a fan into this room. This room doesn't have an air conditioner, so uh, I needed to um, uh, bring a fan in, which makes it fairly comfortable. But it's one of those Dyson fans, and they're supposedly not as noisy as a as a regular fan. Yeah. Well, I did away with my. Um, uh, uh, I had to be very careful about this. Okay, so because I had to turn off the, uh, I took my little refrigerator I put in here and I just unplugged mm -hmm. it because whenever it kind of, you know, turns itself on and off and on and off, the lights sure. dim slightly, and the oh. light dim lights dim slightly when I turn on this air conditioner, and when I'm doing the uh, coffee, at night, and I use my coffee machine, the lights flutter. Well. Uh back in the day when and so I, I don't I don't want it to all go so that's why I pulled out the there there is a there is a box you can get that's a capacitor and what it does is it takes care of those surges of uh, for a very high level of uh, of electricity mm -hmm. we use it on um, sanding machines so that the uh, the floor sander uh, maintains a a, a constant uh, revolution and how much do these capacitors cost probably about 700 bucks oh fuck that yeah but it'll it'll run it'll run your stuff and you won't have those surges I am. Uh, this business I, this, this show isn't worth it anymore <laughs> all right uh, but this show is very good at doing something what uh, tell one, me tell one, me because I'm trying to give myself an excuse to keep doing it okay one more person got cancer. What? Tony? Uh, didn't Shecky tell you? No. 
Oh, Tony is uh, got a three three Gleason. That's not bad. That's not bad. Well, it's over the borderline, right? It's where you watch and wait. Okay, it, you know we have to explain to you. This is prostate cancer we're talking about here. Right. Okay. And uh, there's a Gleason score. And to a, the moon. A, a Gleason <laughs> of three three, if I'm not mistaken, is not dangerous. Uh, no, but he's. I had a three two. four. Yes, but you're in the, your eighties. He's in his fifty, early fifties. And, uh, you know, getting it in your early 50s, I think, is a little uh, more difficult to deal with. I think a Gleason score of 3-3 is not horrible, if I'm not mistaken. If I remember my yeah. Gleasons, you know. Yeah. It, 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 actually, if you have a 3-8, that's to the moon, Alice. Yeah, right. So that's right. your Gleason score. No. Uh, it, um, if I remember correctly, mm-hmm. They take the, the first score against the second score, and the second score is more important than the first score. But if you have an average of a three, they usually don't do anything about that. Well, that's that's good to know. And What did know, Tony say he was going to do about it? Well, he he saw the results online and hadn't yet spoken oh, to his oh, doctor. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, so instead of waiting for his doctor to reveal it and to help him through this part of a crisis, I guess, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, they just automatically sent him the information and, uh, you know, just, just made his life a living hell. But, you know, I, I told him, I, I, I said, look, you know, it's you call this show, you get cancer. That's just part it's, of the deal. Everybody here gets prostate cancer. Yeah, just uh, about. Yeah, we're. Uh, <laughs> and if they don't have it, they will. <laughs> we're kind of what was that place up in upstate New York or something that with the, with the water and stuff? And it was, upstate it was, New York. No, it was, it was an area. No, it was where, in Michigan, Michigan, Flint, Michigan. Flint, no, not Flint. That was the water. This was yeah. uh, people all getting cancer, and I can't remember where that was. But it wasn't Three Mile Island. We're, we're the yeah. we're the internet version of that, so don't call this program, or you're <laughs> bound to get prostate yeah. cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, you know. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I know that he worries about it, and he's uh, 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 really been panicking over it, you know. And um, uh, I still say the three three is not bad. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, now, I I advised him when he had such a low PSA and it went back down. I said, you know, I said uh, I would get whatever you got uh, as as a as a test to determine if there was any cancer or the need well, for I a. I wish, I wish I could remember what the what the test was that he did. He did my PSA test. That's right. A, that's a test in case people don't know what we're talking about that indicates that you might or might not have something going on. Okay. Right. But there's another test you can give on the blood at the same time that gives you a comes back with the for the problem the what can I call it the probability probability right. that you uh, have a higher Gle uh, Gleason score a Gleason score above. Oh, I can't remember what now. Is it two two or three three? I think well, three three is the border. Three three is the lowest, actually. I don't think you, there's no such thing as a three two or a two two. No, unless you're well, a ballerina. And if it was under three three with me, that uh, I they wouldn't consider it cancer. Yeah, but, but anyway, I, I, anyway. So that old. what that was is that then said to him, well, I guess we better do a biopsy. Right. Okay. And then what he found in one lobe, I think they found some cancer, prostate cancer. And on you. So, yeah, and so that's why they did the whole thing on me with the seeds and with the, you know, with the uh, radiation and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, let's see, you had that uh, John guy who dropped dead in his house, a friend of yours. John Rockwell called the John show. John Rockwell. Yeah, I, I yeah. really enjoyed when he would call the show, but. And there's, uh, Ron, there's Ronnie who's dead. Um, yeah. Let's see who else is dead. Um, well, that's about it. Yeah, yeah but uh, now those are the dead, and then the cancer is you and me and a number of others. I mean, the people uh, that we used to have on the show that suddenly disappear, and we don't know if they're dead or not. Well, let's figure they're dead. Yeah, like what's her name? I can't remember her name now. Um, oh, Renee. Renee, yeah. I don't know what yeah. happened to her. 
uh, well, it was interesting. She was the one when she was calling the show that really pushed me to do something about it. I was ignoring it. Uh, I just kind of compartmentalized yeah. the yeah. fact that I had the cancer and I wasn't doing anything about it. Uh, I was busy with life and uh, I, I didn't want to confront it. And she actually pushed me uh, to, uh, to, to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, uh, that, that, that was helpful. You know, I mean, it, uh, yeah. it wasn't any fun going through what I went through, but, uh, it, it was because of her that I, uh, really uh, pursued doing something. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, uh, I, I wish the best for Tony. I'm surprised he didn't call me or write me, but he probably was afraid to, cause I told him. Don't yeah. Well, me. yeah, he, he doesn't want to, uh, uh, make it a uh, all about Tony thing, you know. Plus, he's having a hard time dealing with it. Well, uh, it, well, there's no reason for him to feel, you know, something. Yeah. Uh, you're proof of the fact that it's how many years since your prostate was removed? Uh, four. Four. So you're going on five years. That's the cutoff point where we go. Hey, you don't. You re probably don't have it anymore. You well, I, two a year and a half after I had it removed, mm -hmm. uh, it came back. I did uh, have some well, no, detect you, PSA. Yeah, but they didn't. They they well. Yeah, they, they treated me with seven weeks of radiation. But very little respect, I hope. Uh, it, yeah. yeah, they <laughs> they made me pee in my pants daily. <laughs> I, I don't know why they didn't give you the uh, what they gave me, which is the uh, uh, seed. No, the cyber knife. I, I had the radiation too. I had the five, but it's only five trips to the well, hospital for uh, that. This, um, uh, I think, maybe it's where your cancer was located. No, I think. Uh, it, well, it could, no, it could be could be the level. Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, since I didn't have a prostate at the time that they uh, were irradiating me, mm -hmm. uh, they were just doing it in a in a general area. Uh, trying to eradicate any uh, cells. Yeah. So yeah. maybe that's why they weren't able to do that. But they knew exactly where your cancer was and uh, exactly where your prostate is. See, I happen to think I, I really had access here in New York to the best doctors around. I, I think so. You know, and and uh, I mean, I may be, may be too, knock on wood, too early to say this, but what they did for me was, I think, uh, life saving. You know, oh, I mean, what, what they did for all of us was life saving. Uh, I, I yeah. just uh, uh, didn't have uh, the ability to do certain treatments because of the size of my prostate. You know, something we don't, uh, you don't want to take a chance on it, but you don't know, like in my case, whether if I had done absolutely nothing, if I still would have lived to a ripe old age. You know, uh, it was just that it was there. You know, and it could have been very slow growing and taken years and years and years and years to develop. Yeah, uh, exactly. Especially at your age, it's much yeah. more slow, slow growing. Yeah, I mean, Dave, my, Dave Jack, yeah. uh, he was 39 uh, when he got proton therapy. Yeah. You remember David, the guy in Czechoslovakia? Yeah, yeah. And we, we uh, don't know what happened to him. Uh, his father turned off the electricity and that was it. You know, but I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. I would have thought we would have heard from him by now, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, maybe he's in Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, his his wife was a nurse and uh, living in the UK, so I think he moved to the UK for a well, while. I know that, but you know, usually he would call us from these various places. You know. Yeah, I you know I miss I miss his calls. Yeah. Uh, let, let's see. Is there uh, other stuff going on? Uh, well, there's the baby formula, there's the Title 42, there's uh, the Buffalo dispatcher that hung up on a caller at the uh, shooting. Mm -hmm. The caller was whispering that there was a shooting, a, a sh a mass shooting, and yeah. that uh, the, so the dispatcher said, you're whispering, and hung up on them. <laughs> she yeah. was whispering because she didn't want to get shot. Yeah. And, uh, I, I wonder what's going to happen to him, uh, you know, that dispatch. Well, they've already been dismissed. Or, or, oh, really? Or, you know, put on yeah. leave or whatever. Yeah. Wow. You know, I, you know, you, you, you could say horrible things about something like that, but the fact is that these people are dealing with stuff every day mm -hmm. and, and they don't know how to handle some well, situations, you know? And 
during my training, uh, the, the first month I was on as a reserve, I was on the 911 line and I was answering calls. And a woman called and said, there are low flying pilots cursing at me. So being me, I said, that's, that's terrible. We'll send our plane out and we'll shoot them down. And she said, really? And hung up. A couple of minutes later, she called back and she said, you know, I, I want to know your name. I want to say thank you. And I want to, you know, uh, commend your superiors because no one's listened to me before. So I said, well, my name is Lieutenant Bombolini. <laughs> That's the only name that came to mind. <laughs> but, you know, she uh, she never wrote anything. I figured that was the end of my reserve career as soon as I uh, said, yeah, we'll send our plane out. Bombolini. <laughs> what a great name, Bombolini. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just, uh, it, it's, you know, it just came off the tip of my tongue. Yeah. But yeah. Um, uh, let's see. We've got... Uh, I've had something happen to me with the official voter ballot. Um, you know, everybody said, Trump said, that there was a lot more ballots being sent out uh, f uh, for people. I got two ballots. Now, I took, I had the, uh, here's the envelope for the second ballot. Uh, okay, it's, it's addressed to me. Mm -hmm. The first ballot I had taken out of the envelope because it, was, it came a couple of days before I threw away the envelope and I'm ready to fill out the ballot and send it mm -hmm. in. Uh, Faye's ballot is also still in the envelope because she'll just copy what I do. Mm -hmm. But I got two ballots now. I, I'm not going to send in uh, the second ballot. And even if you did, it might not be counted. I don't know, but you know what that tells me is that there's more that there's mistakes being made with this ballot process. If I got two, how many other people got two or three? Uh, I think if if you get two and and it's the same name, I think they I think they have ways of of uh, not, they don't count both of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, you're trying to be suspicious because your leader and Fuhrer, I am. your leader and Fuhrer is telling you <laughs> that the that the the election was a fix, but I don't think the election was a fix. I mean, I'm not saying that counting is 100% perfect. Okay? Yeah. Uh, you know, and that that we don't have different problems with with uh, with uh, counting these ballots. But nevertheless, um, I I don't think that, uh, and I, I'm sure there are always some improprieties, but they're not on purpose, you know. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, I think I think for all that there is, I think that there's not enough to say, oh, hey, look, you know, we really got to look into this. This is voter fraud, you know. Yeah, it happened to me, so you know that's uh, that's where I thought it was an issue. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Elon Musk, he's now a Me Tooer. Uh, supposedly, uh, he was accused of sex offenses and uh, paid two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to settle the case. Do you think that this is um, uh, just uh, they're trying to sh smear him and uh, weaken his position? Uh, what do you mean Twitter? he paid two hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Well. We don't I mean, I think true. I think there's more of a chance of when whenever they think they can get away with it, they smell money. Yeah. Okay. And and he would just rather settle it than go through the whole process of going to court, fighting the thing, and so on. Just give him the two hundred fifty thousand dollars and just shut up. Even though maybe I didn't do anything wrong, but I'm not going to go to court, try to prove it, have it be in the press, you know, have it be a big deal. Uh, it's 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 really, you know, the only reason you don't do that, and the only reason I is this is the reason I would suggest he not do it is that everybody will think he's an easy, you know, an easy mark, easy but, mark. Yeah. But also the the accusation uh, is is enough to uh, try and slander him. They, there was some other. Well, you know, what are they going to do? Look, they're going to slander him. What are they going to do? Are they going to ruin his reputation? Those people who already hate Elon Musk hate Elon Musk. Okay? 
Um, uh, 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 I hear nothing but wonderful things about his companies and the way he runs them and people who work at them don't com really complain about how they're being treated. Um, the only thing I don't like about him is today he announced he's no longer voting Democrat. He's going to vote Republican. Really? Yeah. Because he says the Democrats have lost their way, and well, they're not the party. Be... They're not the party of nice anymore. And I only like parties that are nice. So I don't know why he wants to have anything to do with the Republicans because they're anything but nice. You know, well, I can see. I can see why he doesn't want to have anything to do with the Democrats. You know, I, I've said this before. I'm very disappointed. The Democratic Party have been for years. You know. Uh, yeah. I, I think the politic, both political parties uh, uh, pox on both their houses. Uh, right. But uh, as I said online today, however, that being the case, there's no way I would vote Republican, you know, ever. I might not vote at all, but I won't vote Republican. Well, I'm, I'm voting for uh, a, a, a DA that's a Democrat. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, if I could find a Republican, mean, I, I should... Uh, add to that though that if it were somebody who was a um, uh, a, a Republican that I could get behind that I felt was more right, yeah. morally no, you good probably, you probably liked uh, the guy from Arizona what's his name the POW uh, uh, McCain McCain McCain, uh, McCain I liked the thing I didn't like about him is that when he ran for president he suddenly uh, started playing the game, you know. The fact that he went out and got Sarah Palin, which was a bad, bad thing to do, and you know, and he, he but he, I, he, on the other hand, he won me back the moment that some woman asked him a question about Obama as a Muslim terrorist Muslim. or something, and he looked and said, "No, ma'am, he is a very good man. He believes in this country. We just disagree uh, on how to run this country." Okay. Right. And I thought that was that that at that point I went. I my my instincts about McCain have always been pretty good, you know. Yeah. And if if it were him against somebody who wasn't Obama, because I liked Obama a lot, yeah. Uh, I think I could have voted for McCain. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm looking at the list of uh, of Republicans. And I Googled what, you know, because I didn't recognize any of the names for, for governor, uh, for senator. Uh, so I Googled, you know, what the recommended Republican Party line was. And I'm saying to myself, uh, am I sure I want to do that? Or maybe I ought to just look and see who's going to be the best. I don't think a Republican has a chance of getting elected in, in uh, California. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, 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 you know, I mean, well, uh, th at least this election. I mean, you've had, yeah. you've had, you've had Republican governors in California. In the yeah, past. but that was a yeah. different era. Yeah. Uh, you know, you had I mean, Reagan. You had, you had Earl, had, Earl Warren. Uh, Earl Warren, he was Supreme Court Justice. Was he? A, yeah, he was, was governor, he, uh, California, governor? governor of California. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, he was the governor of California, and uh, who else? I think there was another Republican. Uh, uh, governor well, that we Schwarzenegger. <laughs> well, when it came to when it came to the Senate, you had uh, uh, what's his name, uh, the uh, the song and dance guy. Um, song and dance. Yeah, it was uh, Warner Brothers song and dance guy, and uh, he he. Oh, uh, Bono? No, no, he was no, 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 no. He was, but he was a senator. He was. He, excuse time. me. Excuse me. A congressman. Oh yeah, yeah. He was the mayor yeah. of Palm well, Springs. I'm trying to remember the name of the uh, of the actor, uh, uh, George Murphy. Mur oh wow, I, I don't, I didn't yeah. remember him. Was he was he also mayor of San Francisco? No, Murphy? no, no. George Murphy was a song and dance man over at uh, Warner Brothers, and then he went into politics and became uh, a senator from California. Yeah. I think for only one term. I don't think he lasted more than one term. Yeah. But uh, you let's know. see. Uh, Somebody Christmas. wrote a song once. Uh, at last, we have a senator who can finally sing and dance. <laughs> you know. No. Yeah. But I, hey, and you had Reagan. You know. Yeah. Well, COVID. Uh, do you know in North Korea last week they had one case? Now, 
uh, they've they was it a million cases? I don't I don't think they have a million people there, but well maybe they do. But uh, they they have an enormous amount of COVID uh, all of a sudden in one week. In one week, maybe they started counting. Yeah. Maybe they stopped using the abacuses and yeah. used a faster one, way. Two, of, three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, oh, baby formula. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, you know, uh, they tried to use abortion to kill the babies, and the ones that they weren't able to kill, they'll starve. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's kind of the Russian way of doing things in Mariupol. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. no, I mean, uh, it... Uh, I mean, the whole baby formula thing is very sad. Um, I saw a woman today on television who was crying about it because she's got seven babies and she has to feed them all formula. And I'm going, over what, a couple of years? You managed to have seven kids or something? It was an enormous yeah, amount. Of, maybe it wasn't seven, but it was an enormous amount of kids. And I'm going, you know, you selfish bitch. You well, know, really... You, if you have more for every baby you have over two okay you're killing a child somewhere else on the planet you remember the octo mom she had a, uh, 11 well, yeah, or so. oh, if you have them all at once that's one yeah. thing i mean well, i saw a woman probably, today i saw a that's woman today probably what happened because if you had seven babies mm-hmm. one of them is going to be at least seven years old and you're going to be nursing a seven-year-old yeah well yeah. No, i mean <laughs> yeah you know uh, well, I don't know. I've, I've, been, I've been nursing nursing a grudge for years, so you know. <laughs> don't we all? But um, uh, oh, and uh, so there was an art, uh, There was a story about a woman that had enough milk that she refrigerated it, and she formed a group to where she would give baby milk, breast mm-hmm. milk, mm-hmm. to mothers that couldn't do it and couldn't get the formula. Yeah. And uh, you know that that seemed like a pretty reasonable thing, that but of course the fairly uh, nice to do. Saying, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The government is saying, well, it may not be safe. Let them starve. So North uh, Korea's got some serious problems when it comes to COVID. Oh, really? <clears throat> well, they have no vaccines. Nobody is vaccinated in the country. They don't have vaccines <clears throat> in China. Oh, they I came they up their, their own, but it found out it didn't work. Oh, okay. So they're buying Johnson and Johnson and AstraZeneca and non-American companies. So. It's about time that we started selling them the same kind of crap that they sell us. You know, the stuff that I doesn't work. Over full there. of lead. He can, he can negotiate a deal, right? By the way, oh, I, by the way, I just want to say right now that we have as our only panelists for our citizen panel the two most hated people who call this program. I get more mail about the two of you, not all at once, you know, one time it's Alan, another time it's you, yeah. from people who say, you having, no wonder nobody's listening to your program anymore. It's these guys, you know, and it's, it's never both of you at the same time. They never say Phil and Alan. They say yeah. Phil or then Alan. I can't stand Alan because he eats a lot on the air. I got one of those today. Eats a lot off the air. <laughs> you know, it, 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 that must be old because you asked me not to eat on the air, so I don't eat on the air. Yeah, and uh, then uh, 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 there's uh, there's Phil. I get stuff about Phil. God knows, I get a lot of stuff uh, who would, about Phil. Uh, there, there's a there's a couple of uh, people that uh, you know just have nothing else to do. Well, uh, I'm I'm gonna say that yes, maybe I would have more listeners if I didn't have you guys on. That could well be, but. Quite frankly, this show wouldn't be what it is if I don't let everybody on that wants to be on, you know, and and uh, so therefore, I mean, uh, I mean, and and neither of you guys, you, you may be some people may find you repulsive. Okay, uh, I could even come up with nastier words than repulsive if I wanted to, uh, but they, repulsive to them, but. Um, um, that's no reason for me to not have you on, you know, and um, I'd rather sit here with just four people than, uh, and, and uh, 25 listeners like we do right now at this very moment. I don't really give, give a crap because I'm not going to tell Phil not to call this program. I'm not going to tell Alan not to call this program, you know. And Hey, 
just think of it this way. If I didn't call this program, I might end up calling you at home. Now, I'll tell you what I, what I have done, what, what really got to me. Yesterday, I went for a walk in, the, uh, in one of the parks around here. Yeah. And I sat down, I turned on my camera, and I talked into it for 10 minutes. And I put it out on Facebook. And uh, today, I go over there. How many people do you think watched it? 650. 400. Wow. Really? And then I threw it up on uh, on YouTube and got another 50 for that particular thing. But it was a day late. It, it, the part you're missing here is they're not seeing your face. They're seeing everything but. No. No, I think it was. No, uh, it's, just my, it's only my video? It's only my face. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe they like seeing your exercising. I don't anyway, know. Anyway, the point is, the point that I'm making is. I go, you know, and then I come on here, and yesterday, what do we have? Maybe 150 people that watch the show, and I'm going, I'm better off doing 10 minutes in the park, you know, once well, a day than, than doing this. It gets a larger a audience. Half, Alex, an hour and a half is a big investment on, for a listener. And, uh, and so, you know, when you do these 10 minute things, mm -hmm. Uh, it's not as it's not as big a investment in time and uh, and attention. Uh, you know, they they get a snippet and and they're gone. Uh, Isn't so, that how uh, uh, Matt Gates got elected? He uh, yeah, but, took you, a, but, but wait a minute, you take wait a minute, you take a guy like uh, what's his name? Um, the guy who's the big guy in in podcasting. Um, oh, the uh, one that Rogan, Ro uh, Joe Rogan. Joe yeah. Rogan does three hours. Yeah. I yeah, but he that. has interesting guests. <laughs> you know. Oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. whoa. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not on Joe Rogan's show. <laughs> and you're not going to be uh, on this one much longer uh, either Matt, if you keep yeah, that Yeah, Matt up. Gates did podcasts to him cruising the park and going into the men's room, and he got votes. Isn't that Alan. the way the Republican Party works? Yeah, okay. No. Jesus. <laughs> For a guy that voted Republican last time, you really uh, have sour grapes. I do. Hey, what am I griping about? What, what am I griping Trump about? Into a crybaby. What am I griping about? Elon Musk saying he's going to vote Republican. You know? Mm -hmm. No, you know he said that he's not giving money to the Republican Super PAC too today. Did he say he's not going to give money to them. No. Nope. No we, money to the Republican Super PAC. I think I think he has a gripe. I'll tell you what I think it is. I think he has a gripe. He seemed to have mentioned it with, in association with Twitter. Against Biden. With what he, no, with what he calls um, uh, 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 California liberals. Yeah. Who have done, you know, what they've done is they've gone after him for no reason at all. You know? That's why he moved to Texas. They, they start criticizing him for no reason at all. Uh, and um, I think he, he that kind of pissed him off. So he just said, I found that, you know, that the Democrats are not nice people anymore. So I'm going to vote Republican from here well, on in. Well, homelessness I, yeah. in California is up 35 uh, percent. I don't think that the programs that we're being taxed in California are working uh, for California. And so the uh, the. Uh, uh, what you call it the uh, uh the, the people in office mm -hmm. are just saying well let's raise taxes let's raise taxes and they continue to raise taxes but nothing is nothing is improving and so i, I think i can see Musk reasoning saying hey look i'm just going to move my headquarters well to i think he has felt he's been assaulted by the left when he has been a proponent of the left and has been a, a voting democrat all his life okay and he just feels, you know, I don't need this, you know, and why should I support that? But if you say that he says he's not giving money to the super PACs, then they're not going to get the benefit of Musk money. They're just going to get the benefit of one of Musk's vote. votes, you know. Uh, I, the reason he says he's not giving to the super PACs is because Trump could end up getting some of the money and he hates Trump. He would never vote for Trump. You see, but he know. and he and Marjorie keeps saying, "Oh, he must love Trump." He said he wouldn't no, ban no, him. They don't he, get along, but he doesn't they, get they along said he wouldn't ban. Well, he won't ban him from Twitter. And I try to tell her mm -hmm. the reason he won't ban him from Twitter is because he believes that that should be a kind of a town square. Yeah. So also, you know, if he's thinking about monetizing it, there's 75 million people that voted for Trump. 
that uh, and 175 are, million that voted for Biden. Does it's not the Jesus Christ, Alan? When don't you have anything else to do? You know, when 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 Phil tells you you're annoying, you got to know you're annoying. You got to know you're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, there's 75 million possibilities out there that they could be on Twitter, and if he if he ends up now, he may be nibbling uh, that deal because uh, supposedly. Uh, there's a lot of bots. Matter of fact, uh, well, no. Here, Biden, here's what they said. Twenty percent of no, Biden. No, no, no. Here's what they said. What some I read somewhere, and I don't know if it's true, but yeah. they they beginning to find out that eighty percent of Twitter's tweets are bots. Really? They're not real people. Yeah. Huh. So that he, the reason he's backing off of his buy of Twitter. Is that he said if he had a, if it was a realistic account that he was getting, that's one thing. But he's not getting a realistic account, and they won't give him a realistic account. And now they're saying that because he violated an NDA uh, uh, about that information. What is an NDA? Uh, do not disclose. Not non-disclosure. Agreement. Non-disclosure. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so they're saying he violated. Ask the NDA. Amber Heard. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> but um, that's, uh, I think he's, you know, if he's a good negotiator, which I believe he is, uh, if he can drive down the value and then make another offer based on, hey, I, I offered you a 54 or $55 a share based on this amount of monetized people. Well, with any company, you say you're going to buy it. Okay, but before you're going to pay for it, you want to see all the, the uh, fiduciary things, how the money and how much money you make and how many people are doing this and doing that so that you can get a good account of it. If you mm -hmm. find out the company has been misrepresenting itself and you, mm -hmm. you would be overpaying for the company, then you back out. This is only part of what you do when you're going to buy a company is you or want you change the, the price. You, you want, yeah, or, yeah. or you change the price, exactly. But so he, if he cannot prove what you guys just said, and he backs out, it's still going to cost $1 billion. So? Okay. He's got it. He's got yeah, He's got, absolutely. what, what 225, 250? 230. Yeah, 230, according to Forbes this year. In 2012, he, he was worth $2 billion. Yeah. Where did that money? Well, I guess he sold. I guess Tesla became a very popular car. Yeah. Tesla and the government. It, it, it almost went out of business. business. Yeah. It, it was this close to, to, to going out. SpaceX almost went out of business. What? what? SpaceX almost went out of business and would have taken yeah. Tesla with it. No, yeah. what, no, what happened was is that, 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 that uh, SpaceX wasn't that it was. Here, here's what happened with SpaceX. He felt he only had enough money for three space shots. If they couldn't get one up there, because in, if they got one up there and back down or whatever, just up there. Uh, the government would pay him one and a half billion dollars to continue what he was doing. But if he couldn't get one up there, nothing was going to happen. So he said he had enough money for three space shots. Number one failed, number two failed, number three failed. And he said, okay, I'm going to put my whole companies and everything on the line. Go for one more shot. And they did the one more shot and it succeeded. The government gave him $1.5 billion, and he was able to then move his company ahead, and now has, I mean, if you if you go onto YouTube, there are a lot of uh, videos of the rockets he's testing and sending up, and he's got this mammoth thing, the Starship, that is just, it's amazing how big it is, okay? I mean, if they if this thing goes to Mars, they're going to be able to play ping pong in this thing. You know, you know a good game Elon, of tennis. Do you know that Musk actually interviews every one of his employees, uh, and uh, he leave. and he looks for certain characteristics, uh, you know, smart, but uh, ones that uh, have ethics and uh, uh, you know just are are really high quality people. Uh, and so he's 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 doing a very similar thing as to uh, what Warren Buffett does. Warren Buffett uses that same analysis when he hires. Yeah. And uh, 
you know, I, I can see uh, Have you ever uh, noticed that Bill doesn't like what I say when I talk about Republicans? But if I say something negative about, about Democrats, I'm okay with Bill. Well, probably, but, uh, you know, no, pox, it, pox on both their houses. I mean, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I'm so sick of politicians in this country. <clears throat> and and uh, um, who, uh, oh, yeah, Here, here's uh, something that's happened. Um, uh, Time Warner, which then became Time, Time Life, which became Time Warner, which <clears throat> then became, I can't remember, I think, who bought it. I think it was AT&T bought it. Uh, was sold to Discovery. Uh, you know, I when I think of quality, I don't think of Discovery. All right, uh, but they've taken over all these companies. They've taken over HBO. They've taken over CNN. They've taken over a whole bunch of things. And uh, it, 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 there was a certain worry about them. And I saw the guy who's the head of Discovery in an interview that was just done in the last couple of days where he was talking about CNN and what they intend to do with CNN. And he said, what we intend to do with CNN is we intend to make it a news organization, not an opinion organization. That would be interesting. We want it to be a news organization. That's, that's what, what it, it was. That's was. what it did best. And, and, and because we have some of the best reporters in the world, he said, and we have... We have, uh, you know, uh, uh, foreign, uh, uh, what do you Action. call it? Uh, uh, foreign reporters foreign and so on. Yeah, overseas and so on. He says we, they had something like some, something like 100 in, in Ukraine alone. He said, uh, uh, we, uh, we just think that we have the ability to be a really great news organization and not an opinion organization. All these other shows, no matter when they're on, are opinionated, and we That's just true. we just want to do good news. So I have a little faith in Discovery in that respect. If they live up to that, you know. And then he said, "We're not even going to touch HBO." He said, "Because HBO Max is, right now is going to be a very successful organization, and it's doing well. And the reason why we cut out CNN Plus two weeks in was because we took the company over and we said this thing ain't going to make money." You know, and we just did away with it, but we cut bait before we, you know, could lose anything. You, you yeah, talked no, a little bit about Tony. I hope he's listening because a six is the lowest Gleason score for prostate cancer, and it's the most favorable. A six? No, cancer. a six is a double three. I got it's it. A three, three. I understand that. Yeah. That, but it equals six. So I, well, it's three. what I said. I said it. I said that earlier. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, but it's the like I had score. a three four. Okay, that would have been a seven. That would have been a seven, and a seven they like to go in and do a biopsy. Right. A, a yep. three three they wait and see. Yeah. Now do active surveillance with him. Does the active surveillance mean they're going to do a biopsy once a year? Well, that means every, the cops every, are going to watch his house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. About yeah. eight every eighteen months they do yeah. blood work and a biopsy. To make sure it's not getting worse. Yeah. yeah. And he could live, and a lot of people live, his whole life with it never getting aggressive enough where he needs treatment. Well, it could be. I mean, uh, what I would not suggest him doing is what Phil did. I would not have it removed. You know, there's well, so many. Phil had it removed. Yeah, but Phil had it removed because it was cut, it was restricting the flow of urine for him. But no, they, you can you can do something yeah. about that. You can do a thing called a, a terp or something like that, where they no, it was, where they, they couldn't do a terp because I had cancer. Right. Oh, okay. But yep. the, so, you, you know, I mean, uh, what the hell? You know. Yeah. Mine's flat now. My doctor said mine's flat. My prostate. I I think of it as a, a balloon that the air has now been let out of. You know. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jeff, you haven't said hi tonight. No, hello, hello. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, tough. I've been, I've been going through a little bit of a medical change. What? Okay, what what's happening? Well, that's what I should, should turn this whole show into. Yeah, I mean that's what what everybody talks about. Yeah. Um, you know, I I take a lot of drugs, and I was taking one, and I was having a, a 
let's say a bad daily response. In other words, I would be much more tired mm -hmm. and not very uh, communitively mm -hmm. able to talk, mm -hmm. a lot of problems. So, and I had been taking that drug for a long, long time. What was the drug? Um, I'm not sure of the name. Yeah. But uh, it was, you know, part of it has to do with that I have uh, uh, mechanical valves and things like that. And also, I had a stroke. Yeah. Is it a rejection drug? Anti-rejection drug. Anti-rejection? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, this doctor took me off the list. <laughs> off the list. He said, nah, I think you ought to stop taking that. And that was a dumb mistake <laughs> because I finally got to talk to, and there's very few people who are really experts on what I call brain uh, chemistry. Okay. And uh, what's it? And it took me about six weeks before we got a, an appointment to see this guy. And Finally, he said right away, he said, you know, he says, without taking these drugs, there's a very high uh, frequency of having a stroke again. And you may be having what he calls uh, miniature strokes. Many, many, strokes. Yeah. many strokes. Yeah. Yeah. You so you may not even know that what's going on. And, uh, I, I think that's what I'm at at this point. Yeah, uh, can they do a blood test to see if there a stroke occurred or e or even many strokes? I know uh, I had a reaction to one of the COVID shots about four days after I had it, yeah. and uh, I thought I might have been having a stroke or or some other heart issues. And uh, they they did a number of tests and they said, oh no, you didn't have a heart attack or a stroke. Uh, are they able to do those tests to determine if that's what's going on? I don't think that so the chemical stuff yeah. is is necessarily definitive. There, but uh, I, I did have an MRI mm -hmm. stuff uh, the other day. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm okay now, whatever yeah. that means. Yeah. Today yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kosher, okay? Oh, yeah. well, thank God! You're but they put you back on the uh, on on that drug, right? Well, they, they're putting me on another drug. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I went to pick it up the other day. Oh, sorry, we don't have that drug. Oh, wonder what? Yeah. All right. So, well, well, you'll we'll have it by Saturday. Oh, really? I'll be dead by Saturday. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, well, if I stroke out, I'll send somebody else. Couldn't to you get go it. to another? That's, uh, that's couldn't right. you go to another pharmacy? <laughs> well, I guess I, I guess I can. You know. So the other feature that goes with this, yeah, is no driving. Oh, okay. And I know, Alex, you don't care because you don't drive. Well, I, I want people to know I do know how to drive. It's just I haven't driven in, well, I haven't had a car in 15 years, and I don't think the last time I rented a car was maybe four years ago. Well, you're missing the fun, Alex. I paid six fifty for regular a uh, day before yesterday. Oh, God, I wish I could do that. You know, on, the, on the back of Phil's car, he's got a bumper sticker that says, if you don't like the way I drive, stay off the The two side. things I, I feel bad about not having is a car and babies. You know, uh, but I guess I'm better off right now. Yeah, but maybe probably. Huh? Nothing. So, you know, I, I hope Tony's okay. I'm sure he's going through and a By lot, the way, but... for all the people that hate Phil and hate Alan, me included, um, uh, uh, if, if you don't like hearing them talk, call this program up and monopolize the conversation. Right. Exactly. You know, Phil oh, backs oh. off when somebody has something to say. Come on, and you know, the only problem is, the only problem is, most of the people that call, 
don't have anything to say, well, like I mean, Alan. If we get yeah. these, if we get to continue to get this few of pe- amount of people on the show, I'm sorry, I'm just not going to keep doing it anymore. That's it. You know, when, I'm, you when know, the first I, half I'm hour serious of the show goes that. on with Phil, people can't watch the second hour or the other part because they're drunk. Well, uh, you know, it, it might be time to do a once a week like you do on Mondays. You know, you got an evening and you got a, a daytime. And uh, I could do that, but you know, I and I, then the, and anything else will be, you know, your walk in the park or your opinion or uh, and maybe an interview with uh, someone that you know. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, just put them up. Keep your craft sharp. Who knows? You know, but this 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 is this has got to stop. I mean, uh, you people have to either start calling this program. Uh, uh, but Brian's uh, watching the Warriors game once it's over. I, with him. I know Brian. Uh, Brian uh, Brian's doing the Warriors game. Kev, uh, know- Kevin has a, a school that he videotapes his school orchestras, and he's doing it tonight, tomorrow night. He said he might yeah. be back in time for the second half of the show tonight, but. Uh, you know, I understand that, and he's very loyal in calling. Oh. But I mean, oh. I uh, I came in second last night in, in a in the highest level uh, uh, judging. We don't care. Yeah, well, you know, hey, I missed the show, uh, we, we, and we didn't care. And we didn't care about that either. We had you covered. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. back and answer Phil's question. That they have a test that they can uh, for heart attack that usually within six hours there's certain enzyme in your blood right and if you've had the same thing for a stroke and but right. i think a stroke is like within 48 hours or something like that beyond that the enzymes are gone and <laughs> so yeah the mri is the most definitive way to look at the brain and uh, hopefully this guy that you saw is a neurologist somebody that specializes yeah. right he is and not some other idiot doctor that says oh you don't need this well, nice. I'm going to I'm going to my neurologist on Monday for mm. my, for my s- six month visit. I, I, it's getting very difficult for me to walk. Uh, I, t- I take walks, uh, trying to take walks every day, and I get exhausted. I mean, it's just welcome to your eighties. Uh, hmm? Is it the ner- neuropathy, or is it? I just have no your, idea. Uh, it could be. You just it could, don't have any energy. It could be that I just, you know, I have been indoors so much over the last two years. Yeah. That you know, I mean, uh, some days I don't go out because I, I think I don't go out, but then I have to walk. You know, I, and I have I, some days. I mean, I, I did a, a mile walk, two mile walks in the last week or so, but you know, it's just like I just don't. My legs don't have the strength, so maybe I just got to build it back up again. You know? As as we <laughs> age, uh, our IT bands shrink, and our uh, what? Our, as we age, our IT bands, which are in the legs, shrink. You know, it's it's like the muscle or tendons. What and are IT so, bands? and you remember, you said you fell, and the reason that happens is you uh, as we as the IT bands shrink, we start to shuffle, and uh, now that's why I'm going to a rolfer, and they and they stretch them, uh, and uh, my gait has changed. Uh, and I actually I'm lifting my feet now and I walk like I did 20 years ago but um, so that that may be what's what's happening and and it's fatiguing to try and walk when you're not when you don't have a, an active gait well I'm uh, trying not to shuffle yeah you know so I think I think what happens is when you're indoors this happened to me I think it happens to most people when you're indoors or after you've had surgery or something, your muscles atrophy. They shrink up muscles. Right. The and, IT and band is... Gotta, and, and the more you walk, the better you'll get at it, Alex. Well, you know yes I mean? and no. You actually have to stretch, uh, the, you know, the, the, those... What do people do that don't have your, your rolfer? They, they go out and walk and they get... No, what stretch. people do that don't have my rolfer is they trip, they break their hip, and then they go downhill from there. Uh-huh. Oh, well, happens. thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, but there are ways of stretching. And, uh, oh, you know, I've been meaning to ask you. You said that Marjorie uh, got those um, those um, uh, fruits and vegetable things off TV. No, yeah, but uh, she, she stopped taking those because she read about them and they sucked. 
Oh, okay. That's what I was going to add. But but there's another brand that has both the fruits and vegetables all in one pill that she gives me every morning and every night. And I've got to say that after a month of taking those things, I don't feel any better. But <laughs> okay. But we'll you know, we'll keep taking them just for the hell of it. She wants me to keep taking them. No harm, no foul. You know. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, they're on Fox News. Uh, they they only have a few uh, advertisers, and one of them is this fruits and veggie pills. Uh, that uh, they're on that, all they're on all the news networks. Oh, they are. Yeah, since you don't watch MSNBC, well, I don't watch any of the other ones. You don't realize they're on there too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if it's so, on Fox News, it's got to be correct. Well, hey, you know they got the pillow. We, and, well, and, well, you know something though. I I do watch Fox News occasionally, and every time I often have said, if you want to find out who the audience is for a particular organization, like a broadcaster or whatever, just listen to the commercials they're carrying, and then you mm-hmm. will have an idea of who they're their uh, viewership is. And in the case of Fox, man, they got to have people that are very old. Because Where's the, the Geritol? There's no Geritol. The ads are there constantly for, like, as you say, those pills, okay? Right. There, there are ads for, uh, oh, I love this, buy gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, but, but you, you it, and they used to have ads, remember they used to have ads for, um, um, uh, reading ability you know how, how yeah, you do yeah yeah you know, uh, reading dynamics i think it was called right. and i'm going oh wait a minute this is uh this is fox and they've got these ads for reading dynamics am i to assume that their audience is are imbeciles i mean they can't read you know <laughs> and, and well uh, a lot of the fox uh uh commentators are all coming out with ghost written books and they say, okay, well, this this book is now number one on Amazon and number one in the New York Times. Uh, but they all seem to be churning out books left and right. By the way, folks, if you look at the New York Times best-selling list, which is the list they always quote, yeah. and you see something like Sean Hannity has a new book out, it's number right. one. Look and see if there's a notation on the side of that. And in most cases there are, and I can't remember what the notation is now. I'd have to go look at a New York Times. It's number one for the for the book that only has three pages in it. Well, no, no, no. But it, there is a there's a notation like a cross or something like that. And what that means is multiple sales have been reported from a single place. In other wow. words, what happens is Sean Hannity puts out a book, then his publisher goes in and immediately buys them all up which isn't bad because they can then turn around and resell them to another bookstore, right? Mm-hmm. But then they make, it doesn't take very much to get n- on number one on that hard selling, you know, hard back book list. Yeah. And uh, uh, what they do is they just simply hype the sales. And the Times puts in there, the, the sales are suspicious basically. You know, I don't know what happens to my camera every now and then, it goes fluttery. Anyway, so that, that uh, you know, just wanted to mention that for you folks out there who think that's that you, interesting. You know, uh, you know, Tucker Carlson has a new book out. It's number one on the uh, New York Times bestseller list. Yeah, because they bought them all up that week. <laughs> you know, and, the, and, and what that does is that helps sales elsewhere. Because people go, oh, it's number one. I'd better go out and buy the book. So. Yeah. But they know that people are scamming them. Yeah. Oh, well, it's interesting. I mean, you know, they they push the book, and I guess that's like uh, when radio personalities used to do cruises, where they would uh, get on the cruise, and their listeners would uh, buy a spot on a on a ship cruise, mm-hmm. and they, you know, the guy would appear once in a while, and uh, they uh, put on an event or a, mm-hmm. uh, a, a lecture. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know the, the personality would get a free cruise and a, and a few bucks and, mm-hmm. uh, and, and yeah. Oh, also the selling of fabulous hits of the fifties and sixties records. You don't see those anymore either. No, you don't. No. You know, what was that? Well, well that was time. That was time. Life. 
used to do uh, that. Remember, t- Time Life presents the greatest hits of the eighties. You know, yeah, yeah. And they did that. For, I, I have no idea what that ever had to do with Time Magazine or Life Magazine. You know. Well, here comes Kevin. Product. Here comes Kevin. Product. Hello, Kevin. Yeah. There he is. There's here's our guy. Hey, Kevin, uh, I got a bunch of extra ballots. Oh, good. Yeah, I got a copy machine. Let's copy. Uh, now, if, 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 I just I check tr- my mail often enough. Yeah, the question They're is... All for Gavin Newsom, let, right? Let, let's say he got two ballots for him, okay? okay. You yeah. know about this because you, you deal in, in voting. Are both of those going to uh, are those both of those going to be counted, or will one of them not be? No. Once he sends one in, the other one's done. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, how could I have ended up with two? Could have been an accident. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Send them both in. One will get counted. One will get trashed. Well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. Go ahead and vote for whatever moron you vote for, you know. Well, you know, all the morons that are in the uh, that are in the thing I never heard of. Do you have a gubernatorial election going on out there this year? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Newsom and Newsom is running. is running. No kidding. There are a couple Democrats that are running against them, actually. Uh, several. Well, yeah, in California, you can run against somebody in the same party, right? Yeah, yeah uh, not not in the primary, but in the in the actual well, election. In the primary, there are oh. several. Oh. I, mean, I mean, at least eight or ten. Do you think so, any of them have a chance? Yeah, but there's like forty Republicans running in California. Well, uh, there's not that many Republicans. There's maybe about six, but the, uh, I think they do have a chance because of where Newsom's name is on the on the on the page. You know, it's not at the top. It, it's not, you know, uh, highlighted as the incumbent. It's buried. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, if so people... you to throw a dart at it, and maybe you'll win. That's basically it. Yeah. There's a system of putting those in, too, the way they do that. I yeah. found that out this year, how they do that. They, it, there's a whole uh, system, and I can't remember how it goes. Every year they choose... How it's not by alphabet, but they choose which way it's picked and how it's listed. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a whole system on how they do all that stuff. It's not necessarily okay. It's alphabetical. It's uh, I forgot, and I could find out for you. I remember that we talked about it when we went to. I went to verify the machines and how they worked a couple weeks ago, and I went to verify how they uh, how the uh, the uh, Dominion machines work too, so yeah, they're on now, this year, buddy. They're yeah, well, uh, Dominion machines. Uh, Dominion's the one that's suing uh, the My Pillow guy, right? My Pillow, Probably, and he's yeah. also uh, there's somebody else they're suing too. Uh, uh, I can't remember now. Trump? No, well, Trump's going after him because he wants he wants the uh, the modems. He wants the modem. Show us the modems. What do you mean the modems? There are no freaking modems. I know there are no fucking modems. Remember he was calling for the modems? Show us the modem. Oh, look at that. Look at that sunset right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah just it, it, looks be- it looks better in person. Of, of course. <laughs> yeah. You have to be there. I just drove yeah. home. From- some of us are there. Yeah. Uh, how, how was your orchestra tonight? You were doing some high school orchestra. Uh, the kids yeah. were great. Uh, they had they actually did a jazz band. My daughter was in the jazz band, and they did great because they only practiced like two weeks, and they threw together a jazz band. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. But my freaking iPad failed me on two numbers, and I'm really pissed. Oh, really? What do you use for a camera? I iPad. use my iPad, and like, I got an external use the microphone. IPad because they, the pictures look very good. Oh yeah, and I and I. Set up an external microphone and hang it over the edge. Everybody, of the when you get a chance, if you want to, uh, go to uh, Kevin Stopper on uh, YouTube. Just put in Kevin Stopper, and you will see a lot of those videos. You know, and push subscribe and mash that that notification. Button. Yeah, mash that notification button. It's, do the same on ours, by the way, folks, because we we want to up our subscriber rate. And I only got two yeah, new. Do the subs- same right here for Alex Bennett. I got two new new subscribers for last month. What? <laughs> So, let, you ever why try one just, of these, Kevin? Uh, no, I have not. 
Okay, it's a recorder, a um, uh, just, audio recorder. Just see, I've, I've seen his videos. They look, they sound fine. They look great. You know. Uh, I don't know why why it did it tonight. For some reason, halfway through one of the the uh, the pieces, it just shut down for some reason, and then I started it up again, and the, it wouldn't start again. I don't know. It just crashed for some reason. Was it out of battery power? No, and I thought maybe it ran out of gigs or something, but it had 100 gigs left, so I just rebooted it. Didn't overheat or anything? Yeah, yeah. No reason for it at all. I rebooted it, and it worked fine, so. Wow. But that was too late. That's terrific. But anyway, so, yeah. um, 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 and Brian, you were watching the Warriors, right? No, no on. Warriors aren't on tonight. Oh. oh, then I put up the wrong background. <laughs> oh, okay. Get rid of that. <laughs> All right. I put it up for uh, for Brian. Everybody drink. You should have had the photograph. You've been drinking all show. You should have the photograph in back of you, Phil, that made you yeah. lose last night. Who said, who said Elon Musk interviews all of his people who work for him? Uh, Phil said that. Have another I, cocktail. Drink again. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I, I saw a, uh, a, a... He does not interview everybody who works for Tesla. You know how many thousands of people he has? Yeah, I, I, that kind of sounded ridiculous, Phil, because, I mean, you can't, you can't do that if you've got... Uh, if you've got... I had two drinks when he said that. Yeah. Yeah. Take hundred... a drink. Yeah. I mean, Take he... a drink right there. Uh, how many people... I heard an uh, incredible amount of people work for Tesla. Musk's office yeah but elon musk interviewed each one of those you don't people. have to you, you, you may not you interview turn your, you people turn your, working on the line yeah. but, well, but you but you just said that he interviews everybody who works for him oh, come on you know everyone of you know uh, of some sort of position that counts oh uh, well, but the, the count. work guys on the line who are assembling the cars don't count they don't count I, I corrected that and said everybody's position counts but oh, he, yes. Whatever. Whatever. Drink. No, you didn't. Drink. You're pulling a Trump. You, you said yeah. I was that. watching a video. I watch a lot of YouTube, and especially I'm stopped by anything that has Elon Musk or or, uh, or SpaceX because I find it totally fascinating. Mm -hmm. They're building these starships, and what they've had to do is to weld them uh, because they're made out of stainless steel, mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, uh, and and they're welding them now, and they have a whole new welding process and everything. But they're uh, they they have some very professional welders they hire. Absolutely, yeah. Got to be certified in all ways. In yeah, in he interviews my, them. In answer to Phil's question, the, the, in 2022, they have 110,000 employees in Tesla. And he's still. I, I think he'd rather be having sex with Johnny Depp's wife. Well, it, well, uh, yeah. This, this is the question. I mean, he's got to have time to have sex with Amber Heard. That's know? what I was just yeah. saying. Johnny yeah. Depp's wife, girlfriend. By the way, speaking of that, anybody here been watching it? I no, I watched you watching it though. Ah, uh, you bet your life I am. Back today, so All I right, I got it right here. I just oh, looked no. it up. According to people who have worked closely with Musk. He keeps a hand in the day-to-day -day operations of every company he leads, yes. including being involved in the hiring. Word is he strives to interview everyone who SpaceX brings on board and has a similar approach during his time at PayPal. All right? But I, but you yes, said, from you said. The word strives. Go back and look. You said Tesla. No, he I, didn't say I Tesla. Said, he said I SpaceX. Oh. Yeah. Drives means uh, now he said SpaceX, but earlier he said so, who works closely with him. And yes, I would think that whoever works closely, if I'm a CEO, whoever is going to work closely with me, I would interview too. Right. Well, he says he strives to interview everyone who SpaceX brings on board and had a similar approach during his time at PayPal. Well, to begin with, at so, PayPal, when he was part of PayPal, they had maybe five small. employees. Very yeah. small. Uh, yeah, that's and, why they sold and it. And then, for, then he didn't he... say anything about Tesla, which is the biggest company and has the most employees of anything that he Well, owned. I'm sure that's his approach. In, in Somebody all his look up job. and see how many how many people work you at sure? SpaceX. Uh, okay. okay. But yeah, you do it, Alan. I, I will. You know, the other thing is, is Tesla is the largest employer 
in the number of people in the city of Fremont where I live. There's four people in Fremont. That's right. Think again. Yeah, thank hey. you. Hey, yeah, Brian, they're, they're, Brian, you're wrong. I got this background right here for you. Thanks. <laughs> monetize. That's advertising. Well, yeah, get in. that off. Yeah, so so SpaceX has twelve thousand employees. It's twelve thousand. A lot less than Tesla. And he interviewed every one of them. <laughs> have another drink. Got to have four drinks on this stupid thing, or I'm gonna get drunk on my water. Okay. Everybody drank responsibly. Oh, anyway, hey, uh, Alex, getting back, this, 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 getting back to the important yeah. news. I mean, is, is, have you been watching the Amber Heard uh, Johnny Depp thing lately? Yeah. Only from your bedroom. Because the only thing is that today I was watching it, and it's just running all these deposition videos, and that's boring. You, you know, you want more of her and how he, you know, inserted certain devices into her vagina and <laughs> things like that. You know. It's that kind of information that we like to hear in court. And tell us something about that, Bill. I'm sure you know. Musk was bo boinking her. Yeah, Mom, Mom, Musk, Musk, actually, according to this one person yesterday, uh, when, when Johnny was out of town, I think while they were married, Musk right. would come by. Sure, why not? A little booty call for Musk. Absolutely. You know, so... Um, I, it's a very enjoyable trial, and you know what I what I found actually here, and I've been pleasantly surprised by it. What a nice person Johnny Depp is. Yes. I mean, when he shows up at no, when he shows up at the courthouse, he shakes everybody's hand. The security guy at the front door, hi, how are you? Thank you. He's handing everybody here. hundred dollar bills, right? Huh? <laughs> handing everybody hundred dollar. Supposedly, bills. supposedly, from all the testimony that's been given. They say he's a very nice guy. I like that tall building. Is that Trump Tower and Donald's about ready to jump off? Well, no, uh, that's... What uh, are you doing? Trying to over. avoid discussing what I want to discuss here, Alan? Oh. Uh, that's the Transamerica Pyramid, and I forgot what's next to it. Is that the B of A? By the way, I hear that Millennium Tower is still falling. 28 inches. 28 hey. inches? Alan, do you have a friend that owns a unit in that building? No, no, he used to own in the, in, in the Millennium Tower. He sold it, made a huge profit, and moved to Palm Springs and bought $2 million homes down there cash. Do we know him? No, he's not on the show, I don't think. Not so, unless you were ever arrested for drug sales in San Francisco. Maybe. Next cop. Yeah, he's a, he's a oh, I, I always ask if you're a cop before I start talking to you. If there's anybody yeah. out there who's really wealthy who would like to help Gabnet uh, and and give me a big chunk of money for advertising, to go out and advertise Gabnet and to well, promote Alan and, and Brian. Alan knows they need a write-off. Alan and Brian? Yeah, they need write-offs. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Kevin. I didn't mean to talk off. You know. Run for president, you get big write-offs. Run for president? Yeah, yeah. Phil Meyer for president. So, uh, a national bestseller for forty seconds. You know what? I another thing I saw on YouTube is Netflix is really in trouble. Really? Or if they are, they're panicking. If they aren't, they're panicking. In other words, I think they're panicking. They lost about two hundred thousand subscribers. Now, mind you, they had two hundred. And twenty-five million, so they lost two hundred thousand. What is that? It's a spit in the ocean. Yeah. They panicked. Hmm. It was in a quarter. Yeah, they might have to move out of Los Gatos into uh, San Jose or something now. Yeah, they have a nice uh, place I, to have Los Gatos. <laughs> I, I watched a really cute show on uh, Netflix, uh, uh, Young Rock, uh, with uh, Dwayne Johnson. It's been canceled. So they. Really? I, I enjoyed it. It was. And that's it was not on good. Netflix. It's on Peacock. So oh, is that Prime? It's no. on NBC. Netflix. Oh, well, I saw it on Netflix. No, it's then. not on Netflix. Well, I started do... watching that Seville. Seville, a guy, yeah. he, Alex. Oh, he oh, it's little... Jimmy Savile, that documentary. Yeah, that one's pretty. Uh, Net Netflix claims that this year they laid off two percent of the workforce. Yeah. Yeah, and then that, they raise another dollar and they make two hundred million dollars. Well, right? what they're Absolutely. doing, what they're doing is they're panicking, when really that's this is not the time to panic. You don't panic. 
I don't know if you've seen the stock market the past seven. Oh, years. their stock went down what forty percent? Everybody's stock has been dropping like crazy. But I mean, uh, 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 Netflix forty percent. Uh, you know, there like was Brian another. Said they oh, I, I looked at my. I looked at one. I looked at my Fidelity. I uh, they sent me a thing. And they, I lost a thousand dollars last month. Yeah, not thousand, today. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at it this month. You know, unless it starts going up, quarterly yeah. report and some really big. big drops in the past week. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, what goes wow. up, what goes down, probably will go back up. But absolutely, who knows absolutely. when? You know, absolutely. But now's not the yeah. time to now. Now's not the time to sell. Now's no, the time, to, the time buy. to buy. Yeah. Yeah. Buying Ask Phil, he's the real estate expert. Well, you know, that's well, the thing. That's, that's I'm, a, I'm trying to buy right now, and it's, and it's and it's been very difficult, but the market is changing because I'm going to look at a place on uh, tomorrow night uh, in Pleasant Hill that, uh, you know, has been on the market like 14 days, no offers. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that uh, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. That mm -hmm. wasn't the case. And, uh, you know. Yeah. The things Doesn't are the Mexican mafia control that block? Maybe that's why. Yeah. Or, or is it the Hell's Angels? Yeah, I'll. I'll uh, I guess uh, you'll go look at it. You got to wonder. Fire.com fires 900 employees over Zoom. Uh, yeah, who, like, so who, who fired? Better.com. Yeah. Uh, this is a CNN article, and it says the CEO fired 900 employees over Zoom. So he had all his employees. Oh, on, on, a, on a Zoom co uh, webinar, and uh, the company is laying off 9% of its workforce. Uh, so that, What's that's the name of the company? What do they do? Better.com. Well, this is going to do really well for Biden. You know? <laughs> it, 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 it's not The whole gonna... economy is screwing, the, is screwing Biden. Yeah, you know, and it's not Biden. It's not Biden's fault. The only yeah, fault. The only fault of Biden's is that he can't seem to correct it. Right. Absolutely. You know, he didn't yeah. cause it, but he can't. Doesn't seem to be able. Right. Seems he, to be. He did enough to cause it. Like what? Well, like uh, what? I'm going to tell you. It's the uh, you know what he did to raise the price of fuel by limiting the supply, because uh, he by was limiting the supply his agenda. Oh, and that's that's why he stopped buying. A, well, oh. I'm paying six fifty a gallon for regular, and uh, yeah. regular. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're in Walla Creek. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say Chevron. You know, it's I, a dollar a gallon well, less I, than Fremont. Why don't you go to the? Why don't you go? Why don't you go and blame the oil companies for that, Phil? Mm -hmm. Why don't you blame Putin? For the the oil co companies are being held hostage by uh, oh, really? the government. Oh, really? so How are they being held hostage by the government? Oil companies are controlling the price. They're the ones that raise it. It has nothing to do with Biden. Right. It's it's supply and demand. No, it's not it's supply it, and demand. opened up the freaking reserves. It, it, isn't it amazing that, that the minute, that wait a minute, wait a minute, that the minute that Russia does nothing. what they did and we said, well, we're going to cut off buying any more oil from Russia, all of a sudden, the price of gas the next day zooms. And, and, that, and that's wait, wait a minute, let me, let me finish what I'm bill. saying. Let me finish what I'm saying. It zooms, but it hasn't had enough time to even impact all of it. What it is, it's the goddamn oil companies. Yeah. You know? It is. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it, started, it started balancing, it started like. Even off, and then started raising up again. Right. And like I said, <clears throat> this guy down the street, I know he hasn't got a tanker in, but he keeps raising the price every day. He doesn't get a tanker every day. Yeah. But and, how, why does he keep raising it every day? You know. So I mean, you've got to. I you... got into it with the Safeway up here in Morgan Hill. They had one sign that said, uh, it said, six oh nine. The other sign said six twenty seven. I went out to the pump. I paid cash. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be 601, and then I got to the pump. It said 627. By the time I walked in, I go, why does it say 627? I should be paying 601, according to the sign on the street. Then I went back out to the pump. It said 610. I walked back in, and I go, what's going on? They said, well, that's all corporate controlled. I said, no, 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 no. You don't understand. Uh -huh. I paid you $130. I want to pay 601 in cash because that's what it says on the sign. And you can't charge me any different than what it says on the sign. Well, that's corporate control. I said, I was in the gas business with my father for 
40 years. You can't tell me that's wrong. You're wrong. And I took pictures of three different signs and three different pumps. And I even talked to the guy afterwards. People were getting pissed off at me, but oh well. What did they do for you? They did nothing. They They did nothing. I ended up paying, but all I'm saying, all I'm saying Safeway? is, Phil, Phil, Phil. I ended up paying 601 <laughs> because I caught the pump at the right time, I guess. But the guy on the other side of the pump was paying 610 Okay, so my question here is, by a raise of hands, how many of you think that the rise in gas prices is Biden's fault? Not me. Well... You're the only one, Phil. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Drink. Um, yeah. You, you guys really are you know, down on your knees stuff. in front of Biden. And baby yeah. formula isn't his fault. Nope. And the, mean, rise in, the rise in food prices is not his fault. But I can hold him to fault for not doing something effective to curb all this. That's right. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. where, that's where, really yeah, that's I, where I, could, I could blame Biden. I can blame Biden for not going after the oil companies and tell them to knock the shit off. Absolutely. Yes. Why mm-hmm. doesn't he? Is he afraid of them? No, they're, they're he, he, it's the perfect storm for his battery agenda. No, it isn't his battery agenda. He, what, Trump was such a what, big... What, he has stock in Duracell? What? You know? No. He, it's, he, you, you seem to, I don't know. You got this thought from somewhere like Fox or I don't know who you're watching... That, uh, oh, it's got to be. Like it's got to be that like it's I, his green agenda. No, it's not his green agenda. Like I said agenda. in the past, all you got to do is look out the window, and it'll be obvious. He it's doesn't. Like, he is doesn't. Is it raining? Is it not raining? Is Biden fucking up the country? Look out the window. Yes, he is. No, he's not. <laughs> but he's not. He's not. You oh know. no, he's not. You don't think no, Trump had some? You don't think Trump had some complicity in all of this? Alex, no. can you reach through and slap Phil? <laughs> I can't, wait. I can't wait till Trump gets back in there and fixes that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fixes yeah. Fix in there. 2024. Get him back in there. He'll fix everything. I don't think he'll hey, be. I'm ultra MAGA. I don't think he'll get nominated. Uh, I, yeah, maybe. I I hope not. I but uh, exactly. I'm I'm ultra MAGA, and proud of it. Or is it, as he says, MAGA. I'm ultra MAGA. Well, you're not conservative and you're not a Republican because you wouldn't be any of those things and be MAGA. No, I think uh, think I'm pro-Trump. I'm pro-Trump. That's what I am. Trump is just a fucking asshole. Plain and simple. You know. Everybody that raises their hand that agrees with Alex, raise your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kangaroo Court. The kangaroo court, yeah. Boing, boing, boing. I didn't even hear what you said, but everybody else raised their hand except for Phil, so I <laughs> Guaranteed. You well, that's, uh, it that's it for tonight. That's it for tonight. Thank you, by the way, uh, to, to uh, Brian and uh, to uh, to uh, uh, Ke- Kevin uh, for you know for calling later on, but calling and, and adding to our little crowd here. I had to cut my vegetables. I got to drive to Lodi tomorrow. I need my vegetables. You need oh. your vegetables? Oh, okay. Say hi, quick, quick, quick. Okay, quick. Hey. 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 Say hi. They're going to say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, thank you, Phil. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Alan. And thank you, Jeff. And of course, thank you, uh, Kevin. And thank you, uh, Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. Adrian. Oh, and, and Brian. Okay, and Adrian. Mm. And Brian. And Adrian and Brian. Funny face. And funny face. Huh? <laughs> funny face. He's a poop. <laughs> He's a poop. That's okay. bad where you can't see. He's not good. even a Republican and she's saying. Anyway, that. everybody give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Yeah, there they go. Uh, and Jack Bishop is next. He's gonna have a new citizen panel. You just will call him using Skype. And the uh, address is Gabnet Live. Okay, that's it for tonight for me. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life. So in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, night everybody. Mm-hmm.